Boom, boom. Hey, move out of the way. You should be there. See if this else. Doing this. Woo! <coughs> I realized something. I mean, as you may or may not know, the American descendants of chattel slavery, North American descendants of chattel slavery, is a specific movement for a specific people. Look, there's some place I know that's it. Now, what this means, let's talk about the specific people. Specific people we're talking about is, uh, of course, you know, the North American descendants of chattel slavery. But remember, it's a couple of things. The, 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 this this uh, AD, ADUS, I call it reality. This ADUS reality, uh, certain things, you know, first, you know, you have to have this lineage and, well, let me, let me cut it this way. It's a, it's a, a dead do, well, it's a lineage and uh, it's a lineage and data and truth uh, fueled reality. Now, here's the thing. The lineage is very interesting. We can do this a couple of things. Now, people are going to talk about it straight up, but let me talk about a little side, come at it sideways, right? It's like this. What's part of our lineage? This whole thing about this Christian thing, right? And what's the big thing about Christian thing, right? You got to go through Jesus, and Jesus is coming back, so you know you can chill because Jesus is going to take everything, you know, take care of everything when it comes back. So you know, what, what, what we do is we have a celebrity like Jesus. <laughs> and since celebrities like Jesus is up there, you know, and everybody's following my house, you know, when you wake up in the morning in your house, you got a picture of Jesus, you know. Look right there, we attached this, my little. That's ADUS, but right there's my bedroom. My bedroom is a big picture of me and my wife right there. So the first thing, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I see is my wife on one side, and if I try to turn over and not avoid her, whoop, there's a picture of us right there. Beautiful, uh, you see what I'm saying? So I surround myself with blackness. <laughs> if you want to do Pan-African, let me, let me talk about the pan -African. I surround myself, I'm living in South Africa, with Africanness. <laughs> anyway, the point is, so part of this, so in this lineage, we have this thing of waiting for a separate, a celebrity, waiting for a savior to come and save us from our circumstance. That's what's in our lineage. It's part, it's in our lineage. Come on, my grandmother. Every morning at six o'clock, I, I, I'm an early riser. I wake up, but even back then, I wake up at six o'clock, five thirty. I walk in, you know, uh, you know, my grandmother sitting, kneeling, and praying in the dining room. It's just attached to the kitchen with it. She's praying. She never forced me to do this kind of stuff, but you know, that's what she would do every day. Like, you, you know if you're eight years, if, 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 if your grandmama, or your, or, or your, let's leave it to mother, if your grandma or even your mama is, is praying every single day and waiting for Jesus to come and save our circumstance, then you know, right? Now, since they know that, well, you know, if you have a white celebrity, that's good, but, the, but if you really want to mess with these uh, other kind of black people, have a black celebrity. And then everything we got it all covered, you know what I mean? And then make sure all their source material comes from, like, say, the AP or something like that, you know, some some white source, you know. Anyway, so the point I'm trying to make is, you can get all kinds of good-looking things. Like, oh, oh, look, look at these uh, shades, nice, aren't they? Very cheap. We what happened? We was uh, where was we, baby? We, we was in King. Where were we at? When we bought these glasses, where were we at? I think it was in Beaufort. In Beaufort. Oh, Fort Beaufort. You were up in Fort Beaufort, and we was walking down the street and talking about the Lord helping somebody, right? The wind started blowing fiercely. Sometimes in South Africa, because of the way the mountains are, wherever you are, the wind just swirls around. It was throwing all kinds of dust up in our eyes. So I just street vendor there, because, you know, it's Africa. We got street vendors all over the place. And so, I, you know, I just look, because I don't wear sunglasses, uh, like, outside. You know, I really actually don't. I, mean, I, wear, I want the, the real razors, the melanin, the, the razor of the sun to come and manufacture the melanin in my body, body and make me more black to protect me, you know, <laughs> like that. But anyway, so this wind came up, and it was really fierce. So I right there, just turned to the guy and said, look, you know, how much these glasses, you know? You tried them on. She brought a pair. Oh, by the way, both of them were, how much was it, 80 Rand? Mm -hmm. For both of them, like 40 rand a pair of glasses, which is basically, you're, you're saying it's like $3 of glasses, something like that. You know? But it was just for to protect the wind. But because it looks so good, it's sparkly or whatever have you, then, you know, they sell it for a cheap price. Okay, so what do we say? 
What's saying? If they got trinkets in front of your face, if they got something, that, you know, if they got somebody's looking good, make them like I looking good. You know, got the hat, got the glasses, got the smile. I'm sorry. They throw those people up there. Hey, it's decent. Somebody can sing, they can dance, they can. By the way, remember, an actor is merely a model. Let me repeat this. An actor is merely a model. You can put anything on this model. Like a, you know, one of those clothing dummies. What do you, what do you call those, those, those things, baby, that you use, y'all use and, and, and see that they're, they're bodice, with, it has, with you put the clothes on and you can pin things and stuff like that that you work on. What's that called? A mannequin. <laughs> I knew that. Mannequin. I go to a specific name. It doesn't matter. So there's the problem. You know, they throw mannequins up. <laughs> and we go for the mannequins. Do you, are you going to follow a mannequin at wherever the mannequin's research comes from? Or are you going to do, you see? That's the question. It's a question for you and me, me being T from the Patterson's taking the train to bet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the A D O S. That would be the American, the North American descendants of chattel slavery.